Where could the next thing be hidden? What? Wait, they're alive? Oh no. Oh no. Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Seven Days to Die. Today, we return. Still a little bit nighttime -y. Still like the remnants of the horde are kind of running through, but they're not like, I'm not too worried about them. They're like, it's just a couple. Like maybe we should go, oh, okay. I guess, I guess I'll go deal with them. I'll go, I'll go Rambo it up. I mean, it is my favorite pastime. And we do have a little bit of the Messiah known as Shotgun Rain. Are you coming for some Shotgun Rain, hungry little zombie? Oh, hello. Would you like some Shotgun Rain? Of course you do. Oh, that's how powerful our Shotgun Rain is now. We're taking people out at a distance. Look at this girl. Shotgun rain. All right, we didn't take her out. Someone's getting electrocuted. Big hit on you. Don't break my ladder. I like that ladder. Are, are you dead? Yeah, dang. Right, you're dead. Dang. I hope you guys are having absolutely an amazing day, though, me. I'm just, you know, out here surviving, doing my thing. Woo! Oh, get turned on, kid. Boop. All right, she's dead. Another one. Dead, too. I, oh, my God, there's a lot coming. Okay. AK time. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. I should not have come down here. The remnants of this horde. I thought the horde was done, but apparently exiting and opening the game again really kind of got them going, you know? And that's not really something that I wanted to happen. No bueno. No bueno. A lot of these guys. Okay, so we might just wait out the last 15 minutes of this. They broke my ladder. They broke my ladder. It's a trap. Okay, well, we got to survive the last uh, 15 in-game minutes of this before the horde gets us because we might die. Luckily, we're getting some levels as this happens. We're killing some zombies and overall having a great time along the way. Unfortunately, these zombies are trying to make our time a little bit less great. But if anything, great way to level up our rifles. Oh my god, dude, some of these people are so fast. I should really check my back a little bit. The yucca plant will have me covered. It is a descendant of the cacti gods. It's got me, bro. I might just run for the last couple minutes of this because it's about to be dead anyway. We've looted up a ton of these guys. I'm not sure if you guys fully noticed, but... We got a 400 quality, check this out. 500 quality purple steel shovel already. That's, that's nutty to me. I, I cannot believe that we got something so stupidly good. Ugh, I had to burp a little bit. So stupidly quick. But I hope you guys had an absolutely amazing day. I hope you are not under attack by a day seven horde at your house because that would suck and I don't think you guys are as well equipped as I am. Unless you've been leveling up your scavenging over in real life, which I'm telling you, it's a really good investment. Uh, I gotta try and craft up a ladder with my wood though. I got no wood. I have no way of getting back up there So I might take this opportunity to do I don't know what's because I'm in a little bit of a kerfuffle You know what? Why don't we clean up the rest of these zombies? Give them a lesson teach them why it's a bad idea to come after Papa star in his own home Because it leads to death and destruction for every one of you that come after me. Look at this dude I need to find a spiked club blueprint because this spike club we have is so stupidly high quality, I, I need to repair it when it breaks. It's, it's still got like about halfway, but this thing needs to get repaired. Oh, maybe we can get enough wood. Oh my god, I forget the businessmen. They're businessmen, man. They make the money monies. They deal with the money monies, and I like that. Because then if we deal with them, it ends up well for us. So hold on, I'm going to drop this rotting flesh. We're going to have to go and uh, whenever we can make our way up there. Ooh, I have an idea on how we could do this. It's an iffy idea to say the least, but it actually be kind of cool. Ah, it's a hell with it. We're gonna incorporate some parkour into our entrance. Look at this, look at this, you gotta jump on the pile of trash. Boom shakalaka! The zombies will never know how to get up here. We're incorporating next level stuff. And really quickly, I'm gonna incorporate a next level headshot onto... Boop! I don't even care if I kill them. I really just wanted to snipe, dude. Snipe is like my last name over here. So I really, I just, I just had to do it. I apologize, but okay. This is some of the loot that we got from our last little shenanigans there. We got a ton of our ammo, a ton of stuff here that I would like to sell. I'm actually probably gonna, we're probably gonna make a pit stop by the trader a little bit later. I think I'll even bring the military fiber to sell now that I think about it. Like, eh, do we really need that? No, but after that, uh, I'm pretty tempted to go finally wrap up the tower. I said that's pretty high on my priority list. I want to wrap it up because you guys have seen some of the amazingness that that tower can have. It's uh, it's goofy how amazing it can be. So hold on, can I do the duct tape? Uh, no, I think I have duct tape in here. Yeah, I do. Uh, also, we're starting to get enough components to possibly start working on some, uh, I was about to say start working on some duct tape. Start working on some, uh, whatchamacall. Hold on, I hear something down there that I gotta deal with. 
Some kind of like hissing zombie. It's a snake. Do you hear that? That does not sound like a normal zombie, man. I think his voice box broke or something. We got all zombified. Hey guys, how you doing? Pretty dead? Yeah, yeah, you you too. You guys, hey, it's, it, hey, that's what you get for wrecking my bathroom. Not metaphorically either. You literally wrecked my bathroom. You didn't even have to poo to do it. All right, usually you gotta poo to do it, but no, these zombies are just like, uh, hold, hold, hold up. We're about to innovate how you destroy bathrooms. And then they literally destroyed my bathroom. I'm happy that they got electrocuted trying to attack the vending machine though. Uh, can I grab vending machines? Because I should just make a wall out of vending machines. Can I do that? No, damn. I was about to say that would have been genius. But okay. Let's fandangle our way up here. Now that it's a little bit more peaceful. A little bit more quieter. Like I was saying, I hope that you're hopefully not getting attacked by a horde. I hope your day is going amazing. I hope it gets even more amazing after watching this video. Whether that be from the video or just anything else going on in life. I'm wishing you guys nothing but the greatest. Nothing but the best. And then on top of that, make sure that tomorrow is even better and all that jazz. But for now, what we got to do, we got some nails here that I could drop off. I'm going to drop off. Um, I really do need to organize this at some point. You know what? Honestly, I'm pretty happy with, like, how my current armor and setup is. So I might honestly go sell this. I'm keeping the shovel because that thing is amazing. I'm bringing the money. Although, no, I don't think it's, uh, I don't think the traders going to have any new stock until day 9 or 10. And last we went there, you didn't really have anything super amazing. So I might actually put off on that. Uh, probably put away a couple of our guns. We don't need this many. Uh, we even put away our pickaxe and our shovel. Although we don't need a shovel anymore because now we got the really good one. Uh, and when it comes down to it, we used a lot of pistol ammo, didn't we? Uh, do I have any weapon repair kits? We do need to actually potentially do a couple of repairs here. That thing was uh, looking a little bit on the damage side, which isn't too good. But what I am looking to do here is bring a couple of these things on board. We got the SMG. We can put the repair kits away. Those things purposes have been uh, served. We can start trying to put together the auger. We're like, what? I think we just need the auger parts and we should have everything we need for that. Uh, other than that though, I'm gonna go back to putting the rest of these jazzes away. Gonna put away the shotgun. I don't think we're gonna need shotgun. I'm gonna try to keep it relatively melee. Um, I'll keep the sniper just cause that's really high damage. Uh, although I like, dude, the, the AK does more damage than the sniper. So scratch that. Although, we don't really need either. I'm going to put these away. Save some inventory room. Because inventory room, especially where we're going, which is going to be over there. Oh, wow. That was just something. Uh, over to the top floors of that inventory room is honestly not super. Like, it, not, no, not, not super high. It is very high on the list of things that I want to make sure happen. So, I'm going to put away the rest of these things. Uh, we're going to make sure that we fill up on the necessities known as Goldenrod. We still have all those empty jars. Yeah, I should really find some water. Someone said, I think you guys pointed out that there's... Yeah, we got some pools up in the northwest. So we could do that a little bit later if we finish our looting. Uh, but that is good. We got a ton of those here, so we won't run out of water. We just need the fuel to cook the water. And we're pretty much infinitely set, so this is a good place. Uh, other than that, though, I think these are the things that the guy didn't want to buy last time. Uh, I will bring these with us, though. Honestly, I'll sell the rockets. Except maybe one, just because if I get a rocket launcher, you know I want to shoot it off at least once. But I'll probably sell just because it's worth a lot. At the end of the day, though, hey, whenever that time does come, whenever that does happen, you guys will have a pretty big say into what I end up doing. So, no worries. I'm not going to make no big decisions without you guys. And, hey, I totally missed these shotgun shells. Look at that. We're up to way more than I thought we had. Any other ammo? Hey, look at that. I totally forgot. We got so much ammo from our last loot run. I forgot we had more here. And also, is that a second meat stew? I thought, wait a minute. I thought there was, I thought I only saw one meat stew. Am I crazy? That definitely said one before. I think I'm going crazy. Who cares? Our wellness is going up. We're almost back up to 110. Um, everything else though. Oh, the AK, are those AK parts better than, uh, actually the stock's better. It needs some repairs. So honestly, I might bring it with. Okay, so we will bring the AK with for repair reasons though. For repair reasons. So I'll put that in that corner kind of so I know what's up. And oh, before we go, do we have any perk levels? Because what I want to do is I want some tool smithing, baby. I want my tools to be higher quality than ever before. Because I am looking to invest into something that break down wood at a lot more efficient rate than what we're used to. So where east my forged steel? There is the steel of the forge, except it is iron. But it is from the forge, and that is what matters. Back to what I was saying. Uh, what do I want to make? I want to make a fire axe. Why can't I make it? 
I'm short on wood. I've never had this dilemma before. Where is my wood? Aw. Are you kidding? Can I, can I scrap these for wood? Will those give me wood? I saw wood. Yeah! Scrapping the splits. Im imp improvise. Adapt. Whatever the hell that Bear Grylls meme is. I gotta keep up on my meme game, ma'am. It's not man, ma'am. Hey, there are a couple mams out there, but I got I gotta do that. Uh, good opportunity though for us to actually ditch the stone axe. We don't need that anymore. And other than that, inventory is looking good. A lot of stuff over here on the left side. I'm looking to sell. I'll put the forged iron away, just because I don't plan on doing much with that. We got that. We got that. Uh, we can put the pistol away too. This is kind of gonna be like the valuable chest here. And other than that. I'd say just a small amount of reorganization later. We should have just about everything we need to do what we want. Hopefully when we get that fire axe, uh, I might chop down a couple trees just so we can make some wooden frames. Just in case we gotta do some parkour while we're up there. But other than that, man, we're ready to go, baby. We're looking good. We're looking good. Oh, file cabinet. You got any good files? No. You're an empty filing cabinet. AKA, the worst type of filing cabinet. I can't believe it's already 720. Hot diggity dog. Good amount of time's been spent. Good amount of time's been flying by. That horde. I was surprised it came out uh, like as full force as it did. Like you guys saw last episode, that horde was being relatively chill. I guess they were waiting for me to log back in. Then they're like, well, we're going to get him. We're going to get him when he least expects it. I don't know why zombies apparently talk like that, but they do. <laughs> and then I spawn in and all of a sudden 20 zombies are attacking my house. Uh, what else? Ow! The cacti are attacking my feet, you meanies. And we are traveling over to our favorite place and having a heat stroke. Apparently, you guys continue telling me that what it is is the night vision goggles that glitch out. Or is it the stew? A nice hot stew. Oh, do I have a... Oh. Oh, maybe that's what it is. I don't think it's the night vision goggles. It's the fact that I made the questionable decision of eating... And getting the nice hot stew thing. Okay. I didn't realize that. That's actually really nifty, though, that the stews are, uh, they give you a little bit of heat when it's hot out and all that. Or just, they give you a little bit of heat in general. So if you're in a cold biome, stews literally keep you warm. I never noticed that. I thought for the most part, like, just red tea kept you cool. And that was it. But no. A little bit more depth to that. And we really got to invest in the mini bike soon. Things aren't going as smoothly as fast as I wish they could be and in terms of the videos I'm really sorry that seven days to die right now is happening every three days it just you guys got there's so many games out there that I want to play like oh there's a cement mixer oh that's destroyed but there's just a ton of games out there that are coming out and are like brand new and that I just want to play and I want to put them all on the channel so just listen the series ain't awesome. going anywhere Good. we still Good. continue in it you no worries shut up Jimmy I'm trying to tell a life lesson uh, we can sell a couple of these things, make the mula off of that. Yeah. Yeah, the money is flowing. Black suit pants. Only worth 14. I thought they were worth more. Get some money off these things. All that military fiber. Rocket launcher receiver. You know it. Sniper rifle stock. And I'm not mistaken. That's uh oh, and then we can go to the workbench here to repair the AK, then we can sell the second part, and we'll have an easy 10k pretty much on top of everything. Hell yeah! But yeah, uh, I'm sorry that the series hasn't been as frequent as it has in the past. It's just there's a ton of games going on right now, and I'm doing freaking like three videos a day, right? And I still can't play everything that I want to play. So it's just absolutely nutty. I'm sorry, but I'm going to try to really make these as action-packed as possible in the meantime. And that's why today I want to head over to, uh, to, to that place and do that. But first things first, dude, this stock is about to be hella good, and the AK is about to be hella better. Then before, it's like my my air horn rendition of the dramatic music or whatever. Uh, oh, we didn't get the second AK part to sell. Forgot about that. And we got five bullets though. I'll just reload that into the AK, just in case. Like if there's a tough zombie, I guess we got five bullets. But you guys have seen the damage this thing does. Like almost 60. Our sniper only did 55. That's crazy that the AK does even more. Screw this thing. I was looking to make some money off it. I guess not, but maybe our loot run and our raid will profit us a good amount. But a money, 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 money. Oh, and we actually got some of those tool points and whatnot here. So why don't we? Can we do mining 69er? Do we need level 20? We need level 10. 
Okay, so you know what I might end up doing here? Is I'll level this up three times. I know. Oh, Star, don't do that. Listen, it's worth it. For a level of mining 69er. Definitely worth it. Because that'll let this thing attack way better. When we're looting stuff, our pickaxe will do more damage. And look at that. Already we're doing like a solid 60-something. And that's the one thing I love about these trees. We get coal out of them and we get wood. Mm. Oh, yeah. And today I had a little bit of a question I want to ask you guys. Because you guys, I know y'all love 7 Days to Die. That's why I watch this series. I know y'all are looking forward to the next update, as am I. I haven't been keeping up too much, though, with what the next update is supposedly going to hold. So what I want to ask you guys is that, well, it's like half and half. It's like kind of two questions. Number one, what do you guys know that is going to be in the next update? Because I'll go through and I'll like look it up myself as well. But I just want to hear from you guys what your favorite part that you know is coming in this upcoming update is. And that'd be like a cool way of me starting to gauge when it happens. And I don't know when the next update's going to hit. Hopefully by the end of the year. Because you guys saw how long it took between Alpha 15 and Alpha 16. So hopefully Alpha 17 happens. Ow, cacti, before the end of the year. That'd be pretty awesome. But uh, what is it? Along the way, another thing. Uh, my second half of the question that I want to ask you guys. And I would love if you guys answer this. If not... No worries, but hey, if you thought of an answer, it takes like, what, a couple seconds to type it out? Type that baby out, I'd appreciate that. Some of that participation up here in the community. I'm sure other people would love it as well to look through the comments, see what's up, see what everyone's hyped for. Even hit that like button on some of uh, some of each other's comments. If you're hitting that like button, oh my god, okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm gonna let that happen. And actually, I, I could maybe sneak my way up there. Before they notice I exist? I don't know, but yeah. Oh, now I'm haunted by something. Oh! Talk about a conga line. Okay, zombies, I gotta hit you with the jukes! Now, there's no way they're gonna be able to follow me all the way up to the floor I'm going to, so I'm not worried. I am worried, however, that they are going to make a mess out of these lower floors. Not even worried. I know that that's exactly what they're going to do. But I'm excited to hear what you guys got to say. And uh, I'm excited to hear what you guys like most excited about as well. So in terms of what's coming. And then for the second half of the question. What do you guys want to see happen in the next update? Like what I'd love to see. And I think might be a thing. The last I, I, have, I don't know. This is like from months ago. I'd love to see lock picking be a thing. And like lock pick. So when a door is locked. You could go through it. I'd love to see some new zombies. Like a giant tank zombie. Or. Just some more zombie variety, because it feels like a lot of the zombies are, they're kind of like, pretty samey. Like, there's slight differences, but I want new zombie types, you know? Not like, oh, cheerleader, and, and here you got the businessman. Like, no, I mean, like, I want totally, like, some new zombie models and stuff, you know? Some crazy stuff, like a giant tank zombie or something. That'd be horrifying, but listen, I'd be crazy if I would not say that it would be absolutely amazing as well. And it'd be a pretty cool challenge. So that'd be something awesome that I'd love to see. And in terms of other things, I don't know, just like maybe some new points of interest. Maybe like a giant military installation. That'd be, oh, what if there's like a military airport? An air force base? Oh, that would be amazing. You know what's not amazing? All these zombies below us, because they're not gonna like despawn or really go anywhere. And the fact that they're all trying to tear down this building is not making my computer a happy camper. My computer is like, bro, don't let them do this to me. And I'm just like, sorry, bro. Nothing I can do. Anything good in these or are these just gonna be, it's a sink. All right, sink. I'll have to pass on you. Yeah, though, if it does seem like it might be like uh, the, the game might be skipping a frame every once in a while, that's what happens when there's a very angry horde of zombies all trying to tear down the tower you exist in. But honestly, this is gonna be pretty funny because you know, <laughs> It'd be awful because we might somehow die, but you know how funny that'd be if part of the tower just suddenly collapsed? Like, of course, hopefully it'd be the part of the tower that we are not in. Like, if we just heard a random part of it collapse, that would be so cool. I don't know. I, I, I just love destruction, I guess. So, sue me, I guess. I, I don't know, but wee! Let's make our way over here. We're really low on stamina, surprisingly. I thought we'd be higher given the circumstances, but I guess not. Here's the depot. I'd love an auger to get through this stuff. You guys told me apparently I missed a couple of these things right inside of the maze. So I'm going to try to keep an eye out for that. Because those silos, if you guys don't know, they're, they're stupid. Like, not in a bad way. Like, oh, you're, you're dumb. You're stupid. Like, no, it's, it's stupid how good they are. 
<laughs> if you guys watched the video where we got up to this chemical depot floor, you would know what I'm talking about, and I love life, baby! Meat stew! Nothing gets me more hyped up than meat stew or shotgun rain. I think those are the, definitely the two highest things that get me hype. Meat stew and shotgun rain. I'm a simple man. I could live out in the woods with my shotgun and, and, and a pot, a little crock pot. I'd be making my meat stew on the daily. I'd be shotgun raining on the zombies on the daily. I'd be collecting some stuff that we could turn into gunpowder down the line. And just having a great time. Ba -dum -ba -dum -boom. Um, so I'm going to try to keep an eye out for where these things might be. Dude, yeah, those, those zombies are not going to give up. We're going to come down. That first floor is going to be even worse than it was when we left it. Uh, but yeah, there's a ton of hidden stashes hidden among these. Th yeah, there's one that we missed. Okay, you guys said apparently I missed a couple. Shouts out to you guys. I'm a dingus. And this is what we get in exchange for it. See, I, I got the duffel bag. I think I got that earlier. And then we can continue getting all these hidden stashes with a stupidly good loot. Like, watch. We'll get like a rocket launcher out of this. Uh, it's not a rocket launcher, but I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take 600 quality. Dude, if we repair this, this is some of the best boots we could have. And we didn't even have boots in the first place. What the hell? Was I a hippie this entire time? I was just, just footless. Not footless. <laughs> I mean, I mean, uh, shoeless. Footless would be a very different type of scenario. I'd be like a pirate, like, arg. my name's Star, lads, uh, l l look at me and my pig leg. <laughs> Dude, honestly, that must be, listen, if there would be, this might sound awful, you might be like, oh, Star, that, that's, no, listen. If I was missing a foot, me personally, the one time I would look forward to the most would be Halloween. Because I would get to wear a peg leg. And peg legs... If Spongebob has taught me anything, I don't know why I'm referencing Spongebob, I just remember there was one episode where I think one of the people had peg legs on. Peg legs are dope, and so are pirates. I don't know. Okay. So I think we just gotta get through a little bit more of this upper weave area. This is like so confusing to get through. Well, it's not confusing, it's pretty straightforward. It's just very like, a con it's a very convoluted way of doing it. Some people said I think I missed the second one? I don't know if I did miss a second one. If I did, I'm gonna keep my eyes out on all these, but so far, looking pretty good. And we got through that. This place also had stupidly amazing stuff. Honestly, I'm gonna loot through these things too while we're at it. Woo! I heard some- I heard- I heard something drop down. Okay, I guess it's unnecessarily panic. But yeah, now that we got a better way of breaking these boxes down too, with this fire axe, like... I'm more than happy to break- oh, a fancy toilet. Oh, look at that! We got some fancy poo in the fancy toilet. Nothing better, am I right? <laughs> and a sink. With tin cans. Okay. Oh, did I not break into these? I thought I did. Maybe I broke into this one from above. Uh, you know what? I'll break into it again just to be sure. Maybe I missed it? Who knows? These things, though? Oh, no, I was here before. These hidden stashes are just amazing, man. It doesn't make sense why they're so good. <laughs> Or why this tower has so many of them. I'm just gonna kind of double check, make sure we, we didn't miss anything anywhere. But seriously, someone's playing like a giant elaborate game of hide and seek at this floor or something. Because it's it's insane. And that's, yeah, that's where people attacked us from above. This is the freaking man cave over here. Dude, if there's a zombie apocalypse, I'd love to live here. Woo! Okay, we're getting jumped again. Yeah, I'm telling you, dude, they just fall through the roof. It's like, it's just like every, every Tuesday, it's like, Alright, Jim, you want to test if there's still a hole over in that room? Yeah, sure thing, Bob. And then they test it. And then they're like, yeah, still a floor there. Wow, there goes your arm, man. I'm sorry about that. I hope you get some workers comp, you know, getting, getting hurt on the job like that. <laughs> All right. Um, I think we got, yeah, we definitely got through those two. And now we just got to get to the next floor. I think there's two more floors until we are complete with this place. And I'm excited to hopefully complete it. I've never done such a task. And hold, oh no. That was a desk. I thought that was like a munitions box for a sec. I'm not gonna bother with that, just cause like, gun safes are okay. Let's take forever to break into, but DNA testing! Oh man, I think... This, uh, uh, we ought to find some interesting stuff here, and... Hey, if we ever wanna... Oh wow, yeah, no, no. Nice view, uh... Awful heights. Awful heights, that's for sure. Is that the one? Yeah, that's the one we usually go to. Really though, beautiful view of the surrounding area. Alright, so where are we going to next? Then we gotta go that way. Okay. I wonder, is there anything good in here? I wonder if we could break out the zombies. I don't, 
I don't even know. Drawers? What the hell? I've never seen loot like this. This is like a new type of drawer. What in tarnation? Yeah, honestly though, I, I like what they did with the architectural design of this place though. I really like the giant hole in the wall. It really just demonstrates, like it gives you that open air, feel good vibe. Nothing like the fresh air to really make sure you work your hardest on creating some zombies through DNA splicing. Honestly, this this place has got the workplace figured out. No, no meat stew out of that. I think the horde decided to stop, so that's good news. They have an industrial washing machine up here for some reason. Was this, was this the laundry floor? You guys do your laundry on the same floor you do DNA testing? <laughs> like, I'm not one to judge, but it seems like an interesting... Is this gonna break under me? I think, no, I think it's the other bathroom that was faulty. Yeah, I think it is. So I don't see any urinals in here, so I think, I think the dude's bathroom got screwed in the end. Wait, what the hell? Oh. Oh, hello. Hello! Hello! This is why you look around, boys and girls, especially if you're in one of these taller buildings. Because I don't know what it is with the fun pimps, which are the devs of the game, but they just love having some hidden awesome stuff in the game. Because right now, as you guys can see, there is a potential reason to go up here. Is that a hidden stash I see? I believe so. I, I done diddly do believe. Woo! That this is a hidden stash. And... Is there a way up or... No. Look at that, dude. Just a random little room right here. You gotta seriously keep your eyes peeled if you want to max out the hidden stashes. But no worries. Papa Star is good at that. And it's not. It's just that, that, that old sham sandwiches. Oh, man. All right. I'm sorry. This was wait. That was more disappointing than I thought. That was just some dude hiding their lunch above the bathroom. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. I'm not one to judge. Wait a minute. Where's the other bathroom where everyone was falling from? I don't see any holes in the ground here. Maybe I'm just confused. Maybe we gotta go another- Oh, where did you come from, girl? Hey, what's up, girl? You looking nice and pretty. Except that mouth, because your mouth is kind of like half rotten. You should brush your teeth or some once in a while. Highly recommend it. I can- I can even give you my dentist. Maybe you could fix that thing up a little bit. So I might, honestly, just for the time being... I'm- unless we see like a hidden box, I'm gonna skip these boxes for now. Especially because we're starting to run a little bit low on inventory room and... Where does this go? I don't know. What is this? Zombies? Just a random little, like, control room. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a random safe, I guess. Okay, that's the reason. Yeah, what the hell? It's just, like, randomly elevated. I see that? Uh, but I'm just gonna continue on, look through these industrial drawers, and try to get to that central room, and keep making our way. Hey, I didn't know you guys were for sale. Oh, where did you come from? Oh my god! These, these people are putting zombies up on the shelves, like they're ready to sell, baby. Sell, sell, sell. All right, you guys trying to... Boop. Boop. All right, there you go. Killed your friend. Ow! Meanie. Freaking... I didn't know Ezio Aditore got into a zombie. That dude was doing some Assassin's Creed jumps from up there. All right, back to what I was saying. This might be the bathroom. This has to go somewhere, right? There's no way a barricaded door of all things doesn't lead somewhere good. I got high hopes for this. Luckily for me, I play Seven Days to Die, so I'm used to those high hopes being shattered in a glorious explosion of zombie fury. Anything? Oh, it's looking like, uh... I don't know what it's looking like. It's looking useless. That was the point of this, man. What the? How are you gonna do me like that, Seven Days? Yeah, called it. Crippling disappointment, man. Happens more often than you'd expect. Anything hidden up there? I feel like there would be. Dude, this, this tower just got me always thinking, like, where could the next thing be hidden? What? Wait, they're alive? Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm not used to this. Are these ferals? Oh, these are ferals? What? 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 I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. I don't like this one bit. What? In tarnation? I didn't know that the ferals are... Okay, okay. Hold on. We gotta fall back. I'm mowing them down. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. So they might not have created zombies, but I think they created ferals. They made them way- This is horrifying, man. I don't like this. Luckily, I got some pills to pop. I'm gonna have to pop a couple of these. Drink some golden rod to get that hydration back up. Oh my god. Uh, can I eat that? No, I don't think so. Okay. We gotta- 
We gotta watch out. I... I'm, I'm not used to them breaking loose like that. That scared me. I thought it was a glitch at first, but no, I think the higher up you get, the sketchier things get as well. Are, are these guys gonna- are, are you gonna break loose too there, girl? Yeah, she- she just came alive. Are you a feral? Yeah, dude, they're all feral zombies! What the hell? It's the corridor of ferals! I don't like this. Why do you have a football jersey? You're a cheerleader! I don't see the football jersey on you, even. Okay, well, as long as they're, like, normal ferals, like, not super strong zombies, it's not the worst thing in the world. There we go. I'm gonna- I'm gonna assist you in there. Feral court- dude. Either they're experimenting on ferals, or they turn these things ferals and they're setting them loose on the world. Whatever it is, it's messed up. Papa Star don't like this. Tell with the glass, man. I don't want none of that. I want some of this. Okay. Where do we go next? Oh, we gotta go to the interior. There's probably gonna be a lot of testing in there, isn't there? I'm scared. <laughs> I don't <laughs> Oh, it's not looking too bad yet. They're just sleeping inside. They're just sleeping. They're just sleepy little zombies doing their thing. Sleepy little zombies that I gotta go walk by, which means they're not gonna be sleepy for long. Oh man. I hope the, I hope those zombies I heard were from way below. Yeah, what the hell is this? What is this material? I don't know. I don't want to anger all of these at once, so if, like, one of you guys could wake up at once, that'd be awesome. Boop. You survived that? Get out of here. Oh yeah, no, it's, uh, it's a feral. Everything on this floor is ferals! No! Yeah, sit down. Be humble. Sit down. What is that? Scrap plastics? Why? Oh, that was the thing that was getting dropped. Okay, I was about to say, like, I don't remember dropping scrap plastics. Um... I'm gonna hit you in the head really quickly. Just do a quick medical test on you. Uh, good job. You you didn't pass. You failed. I need to do more tests. Ow! Jesus, man. They hurt. Okay, we just got one more to get through. I need more pain pills to pop. Luckily, we got that golden rod keeping our hydration kind of afloat. This is bad, though. If we have to come across a ton of these at once, it's not gonna lead to good things. It really isn't. This is crazy. Dude, an entire floor dedicated to ferals. It's horrifying, not just crazy. The loot better be good. Ooh. I'll take that. Jars of honey. I like honey. Okay. And they survived a hit from this every time. Like, they're not dying. Okay, I'm just gonna try to... Oh, that, was, that might be a feral crawler? I, I don't know. But he doesn't have an arm, so good for you. Yeah, it's a feral crawler. Do feral crawlers really, like, count, though? It's kind of like... Uh... It's kind of saying a feral rock. Like, it's not going to make it run any faster. <laughs> uh, these are really cool drawers, though. Very industrial. Oh! I'll scrap up all of those. I don't know if the loot in them's worth it, but... Alright. We got through that room. As long as you can take them out one at a time, it's okay. But other than that... Like, if I came here with guns, it'd be a different story, too, but... For now, we did okay. We did okay. So that's the next room. Got it. I wonder what the hell is going to be at the top floor, if that's what we just had to put up with. Less secrets here, though. Less secrets on this floor. DNA testing? You've been a disappointment to me so far. You do have a nice TV, though. I might steal that later. Maybe. No promises. Yeah. Literally nothing. Is this where the next floor goes to? Uh, it looks like the next floor to me. What is this? There's a ladder there. And this thing doesn't go anywhere, so the final floor awaits us. Hoi boy, hoi me no hoi me no hoi. Can I break into this? Actually, there's a chance I can. Alright. I'm actually gonna bust through this real quick. Alright. Let's see what this has got for us. There's gotta be something good down here, man. There's no way there isn't. I got, I got high hopes for this place. Uh, very nice. What a waste of, like, part of my pickaxe. Really? I would- Of all the things, man, it's like they started getting less secretive once we- Once we realize there's a ton of secrets, the game's kind of like, Alright, we're, we're done doing secrets. Like, secrets aren't cool anymore. I'm just like, wow. Okay, that's a mean thing to do. Uh, luckily we can parkour up here. And get to the final floor. I'm just gonna have the SMG equipped right away. Trials. That just sounds scary. 
After that, we got the roof too. We got a couple hours of daylight. I'm gonna check out a couple of these side rooms before we go into the main stuff. I'm not seeing anyone. My dude is panting though. All those painkillers again to him. We're back up to full health though, so he should stop complaining. And I found him a trash compactor, so he can give that to his best friend for Christmas. Oh, 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 oh. oh that's a faulty floor, isn't it? Yeah, that, that's that's faulty flooring. Maybe I'll be a little bit more. <laughs> Maybe I won't do that. Why are there so many washing machines here? Like, I'm sorry. It's a suspicious thing. You guys have more washing machines than you have employees. Like, what is going on? And you're not a washing machine business either. You do genetic tests. I need so many washing machines, dude. I swear, I think the washing machines are the missing link behind the zombie apocalypse. Because they're stockpiling them here. And you guys see how many zombies these people have captured. So I think, uh... I think we know what really caused the zombie apocalypse. So I'm gonna go ahead and end off the video there. Uh, I'll talk to you guys after I'm done interrogating these washing machines and finding out the truth. But other than that, it's, uh, it's gonna wrap up me for now. Thank you guys all time for watching. It was absolutely a fantastic day. I hope it gets better. Nothing but better from here on out. And I hope tomorrow is even better than any of today at any point in time. But other than that, I wish you guys absolutely an amazing one. The opposite of the day that these washing machines are about to have when I'm done talking to them. That's going to do it for me. Thank you guys all the time for watching. That was an awesome one. I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.